before I start the review, just want to say happy 4th of July to everybody out there and uh, try to avoid getting yourself into any uh, Jason Pierre Paul situations. You football fans know what I'm talking about. Uh, stay safe, have a good one, and uh, enjoy the video. All right, how's it going? It's been a hot minute since I've uploaded anything. Um, when I was first getting into spinners, I was like super excited and was uploading videos all the time and then basically just got busy and, uh, you know, just was figuring out things that I liked and, you know, didn't like and I wasn't really uploading videos a lot. But I'm back. Um, I feel like I've seen some new community members or at least they seem new to me who have uploaded some real cool videos recently and kind of inspired me to... Uh, just get back into it and just do a couple reviews, um, especially now that I have some of like, you know, some grail stuff that's really hard to find. And, you know, what I was doing before is I would just like review pieces that I was selling. So I was trying to get reviews out on them before they went out the door. So I never really like uploaded my most favorite and most prized spinners because I was always just doing it because I was, you know, making sure I got something done. So this review is going to be for the one drop billum and also the trillium with the full throttle originals uh tungsten aka w aka wolfram which i wish we all called it wolfram because that sounds cool um my try to name my kid wolfram my wife will never let that fly anyway yeah just doing a review on these pieces right here so let's talk a little bit about this spinner so when i first got into the community i noticed like tons of people were like isoing them all the time and like you know we're, we're always they always seem to be like super highly prized i kind of ignored them because i'm like you know if the ogs are looking for these and they're there they can't find them you know then what's the point of me even <laughs> really trying uh, turns out I have some stupid luck when it comes to, you know, this fidget world. Um, I also have, you know, thrown around some money, that's for sure. So I can't say that it's all luck. But, um, yeah, just the fact that they were so rare, I kind of ignored them. Then I found tungsten in the last couple of months, and I knew I needed to have one of these. Um, <laughs> and to my luck, the trillium, I actually found all of the Trillium stuff in one day. Um, I was able to locate the weights, the body, and also the button. The button for the Trillium is actually on this piece right now, um, but I found that button the same day that I, you know, I found this, which I was told by a couple homies like uh, Chad that I should just play the lottery because it took him, I think, like six months or something to, to actually find one of these. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the piece um, rambling on here. But uh, essentially what makes these so cool is that it's a modular system. So all of these weights come off of the body of the spinner and then you've got your bearing in the middle. So these weights on the arms, um, you know, basically just attach to this really tiny frame. I mean, the frame is super light. I believe it's titanium, this frame, and it's super skinny and, and it's just, it's barely really anything. I mean, look at this thing. Like if you look at it, it's barely, you know, you wouldn't even know this is a spinner uh, without the weights on it. And then these just kind of pull apart and then you stick your bearing in there and that's it. It's, uh, to me, I was always like, when I first got it, I was like, it's really that simple? Why has no one else tried to make anything like this? And then I have seen that there are, you know, like different spinners that have, you know, weight systems on them. So things like this have been um, attempted and done, but I feel like there's really still hasn't been anything like the, you know, the billum or the, the trillium to come out. So You've got the stainless steel frame, you've got the button. It actually came with different buttons. I don't know if I have them on my table right now, but the stock buttons are like these little slim buttons that kind of like are, you know, uh, leveled in a certain way because the buttons for these, unless you're using like washers, you know, the way that this is set up, it's not like your typical, you know, R188 press fit situation. So, you know, these buttons are recessed and, you know they're different than your standard buttons so I haven't really tried like any washers with other buttons on them since I have all the cool W buttons for this but um, I'm sure you could probably get some to work so 
let me just put this guy back together and talk a little bit more about it so you just basically the assembly portion is you just take your weight you want to try to keep the the arms kind of in line um, so that when you screw them on it fits right in the there's like a little groove right there as you can see so you just want the oh my nails kind of gross sorry about that um, but you just want to keep your your uh, <coughs> your arms kind of lined up look I actually misaligned that one and then you screw them down so get that one in we'll get this one in and then we'll talk a little bit more about the uh, the trillium um, between the trillium and the the billum at first it was really hard for me to pick a favorite to be honest um, I absolutely loved this trillium from the day that I got it um, I will say this as far as the the these billums and trillums go in general without the w weights so without you know these tungsten add-ons that i'm screwing on right now um if you were using the you know the brass weights or i think those are zerk weights in there um i also have some titanium ones but without the w weights it's really average to be honest like i wouldn't say it felt like a super high-end spinner with just the the brass stuff it didn't really feel that amazing to be honest with you but all of that changes when you get your W weights. I mean, it goes from being like, you know, six out of 10, seven out of 10 spinner to absolute goaded 10 out of 10 spinner, no questions asked. So let's give it a rip. I've been rambling. I haven't even spun this damn thing. So let's give it a spin. Um, a nice little spin there. Um, this thing freaking moves and that's me shaking right now. I drank a ton of coffee. This thing is really smooth, but, um, my favorite part i think about the trillium and is why i believe you know is why i would say i probably like it slightly more than the billum is this like i love spinners that you can flick and that you can throw so on this spinner you can just go back and forth catch throw catch throw it's really it's really awesome buttons a little bit loose here i want to see if i can get a quick warp on video we'll do it live let's see Maybe if I drag my finger a little bit, I can get a little bit of a warpage. I always struggle with these videos with my finger trying to, like, bend my hand around their camera. There we go. Got a little warpage action going on there. But, um, yeah, the fact that you can, this is so fidgetable is probably why it's slightly better than the Billum for me, anyway. And that's not to say that the Billum is not insane. The Billum's absolutely insane. But uh, the Trillium, I feel like, is definitely the best try that I've ever tried. I haven't really experienced another try spinner that is better than a Trillium. And as far as weight goes, I want to say I weighed it before, I don't have my scale in front of me, I want to say I weighed it before and it was just pretty heavy. It was like 200 and uh, probably 40 grams, I want to say. And then I also, um, the seller who sold me uh, this Billum actually included an extra weight so that's another testament to my luck, I guess. Um, there was a really nice note from the seller. Uh, you know who you are, thank you for that. But uh, she included another um, smooth weight. So now I can run this Trillium with all smooth weights and then I have these you know, two other setups. So uh, let's talk about the Billum. It's sort of the same thing, except for with the smooth weights, it's, uh, it's a little heavier. Um, they are the same size but since there's no cutouts in them, they end up being significantly heavier. I wanna say it was like a 30 gram difference, uh, honestly, going with this button and these weights versus you know versus this setup. So definitely a lot more weight. Um, let's give this one a spin. And right now I'm running these Dark Matters on everything. They're my favorite bearings. Absolutely love the, um, the Dark Matters from Unquiet Hands. But yeah, like look at that warp like super sick this is just if you're a bar person it doesn't really get much better than this spinner I would say um, there's one spinner I've gotten recently that's kind of like challenging this and that's the uh, Mega Horizon that's kind of challenging the number one spot for a bar spinner for me but uh, I mean this thing is incredible um, but yeah like I was saying about the Trillium so it's like you can flick and still catch it's just not as easy because there's those grooves aren't there 
So, like, when I'm trying to flick and catch, it's just not, it's not as easy. It's still, I'm still doing it, it's still fine, whatever. It's not like I can't do it, but um, not as easy with the Billum. Um, and then I guess to talk about more of the differences um, regarding this piece and this piece is I found with the Moda style weights, they're a little sharper on the corners, so you're able to get a better rip on this, I feel like, at least for me. Like when I grab those corners, I can really send it. Um, and I feel like that's just due to the design. And then also kind of like the steps in there too kind of help a little bit. Uh, this side has been half flamed, so you've got black. I'm thinking about flaming these as well, so that this thing is all black. That would be absolutely sick. I'm just kind of afraid to basically set this thing on fire and uh, you know, and drop it in some water to get it to, uh, to be uh, black. So there's that. Um, I will show you this as well. I don't have my favorite button on it, but this is the uh, Nest XL. This was essentially my holdover until I found a Billum, thanks to a homie on that. But um, but this is really close. So if you are if you can't find a Billum um, and you're looking for kind of the same experience, this gets you like 95% of the way there. Um, they're very, very similar uh, in feel. Um, even sometimes when I, when I spin the, the Nest uh, XL, I even sometimes like this one more. Um, just depends on how I'm feeling, I guess, at the moment. But, but yeah, there's that. <clears throat> so I guess to to wrap up the video, um, these are some of my most you know prize spinners, Grail stuff. Um, I originally thought I I would sell one of these when I got them. So I'm like, there's no way that I, I'm gonna keep two super giga expensive spinners. But after getting them and realizing how different they are between the modus weights and the smooth weights, and then also not having to swap things out all the time, I like that I can just pick this up, play with it, pick this up, play with it, pick that up. I don't have to like swap a bunch of stuff out. So uh, before you ask, definitely not for sale. And I always end every video with would I sell or trade these spinners? Absolutely not. Um, you couldn't really show me anything um, that would make me want to sell or, um, or trade these, um, you know, even an insane amount of money, I'd probably say no, uh, just because of how much I actually like these spinners. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I know it's a little bit of a longer video. I did talk about several spinners in the video, so hopefully you enjoyed. And to those new people who have come out and started doing reviews, keep doing them. I, I love watching them. I love seeing new community members get involved and, um, you know, dropping their videos and their mail calls and stuff. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So definitely want to throw that encouragement out there. I got a lot of encouragement when I started doing reviews. So um, definitely want to express that love back to you guys as well. So uh, everybody have a happy fourth and um, hopefully I'll just keep uh, I'll get back on the grind. You guys have inspired me. Uh, have a good one. Later.